Welcome back to the Mingo Live. So good. Thank you so much, Faith, for being on the show this morning and giving us such interesting okay. weather forecast because the one thing that we didn't mention are the mosquitoes. Oh, those are never ending. They're Texas-sized. Yeah. As a matter of fact, we have a few of them working here. <laughs> yeah, they're inside. Uh, at the station there they're in the, the building. So, so watch out. Yes, they are. <laughs> so, so in this segment, we want to talk All about right. tradition and culture, specifically the Lapan Apache tribe of Texas and their veterans powwow that's coming up. Mm -hmm. And we've got a young man here, Anthony Falcon and Danny Rodriguez. Um, they're here to talk to us about this event that's gonna be happening September 21st. Welcome, good to have you on the show. Thank you, glad to be here. Tell us a little bit about your, 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 your event. This is, this is gonna be amazing because it's, it doesn't happen very often. No, I mean, I used to go to them when I was a child here at, at Memorial Coliseum. My mom took me to make sure that we were connected to our culture. Right. Um, and then it just, uh, the organizer who did it, he passed away, so nobody picked it, picked it up after that. Right. And it's kind of been gone since the 90s. And our tribe decided, you know, Corpus, you know, there's native people here, there's indigenous people here, and it mm -hmm. used to be very successful, it was the biggest powwow, one of the biggest powwows at the time. And we said, why don't we bring it back? You know, it's important right. for us to have our roots. We're from Texas, Corpus is a big city in Texas, and we right. want to bring, I mean, for me, it's the personal connection to come full circle as a child going and now being, uh, helping to bring it back is very special Absolutely. to me. Absolutely. And our Absolutely. veterans very component big. is to make sure that we honor our veterans, native on, and non-native alike. Uh, veterans are important to our communities. As they are. Native Americans serve as, as they're the highest uh, denomination that serves of the of race in, in the country. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows that. Wow. Uh, and so we honor all of our and veterans, our Native veterans, and all veterans. It's important for them to come. Absolutely. It, it, it's important for that cultural aspect, of course, to bring everybody together. And for those that are unfamiliar, this is a time to present them and to be well known here in the community. So how many years has it been used since the, since the 90s? Correct. So the last one was at the, at the Coliseum. The Old Memorial Coliseum, Oh yes, my goodness, that's a long time that ago. That is a yes. very long, give us Overdue. some background on the, on the Lapan Apache tribe. So Open our tribe has been here for hundreds of years. You know, right. we fought for Texas independence. Uh, Sam Houston actually had acknowledged our tribe in writings way back in the day mm -hmm. uh, we we've been here for a long long time and we are very proud to have to have been from texas and to have those roots that stretch that far it's important for us to to be to show ourselves in texas and to right. people to know that we still exist like we're here we're integrated in society society like everybody else but we hold on to our culture and our beliefs and our traditions and we it's important for us to show people so they can get educated to dispel those stereotypes and people understand that there's more to us than what you see on some TV shows or whatever. Like Absolutely. That. We've got a full screen that gives us the information. Yes, sir. It's happening on the 21st of September. 21st it's coming of September. Up this weekend, right? This, this weekend, weekend, yes. Uh, at the American Bank Center. And the cost? Free. That's We've great. had some amazing support. The, lots yeah. of businesses have jumped in. The Port, Conviva, WellMed, um, Del Cielo, Rally, everybody's um, rallying around, you know, sure. and uh, showing the, the community su the support that they wanted here. Now I just need all of Corpus to show up and powwow with us, and let's have a good time Saturday, 10 to 10, free. Yeah. Bring your mama, bring your daddy, bring your tias, bring your cousins. Everybody. If and you've never been to one. Yes, if you've never been to one, this is definitely mm. the place to be. And I know that you can have dancers from all over the world. You even brought one here for us, Domingo Live. You can yes. tell us about uh, the dancer that's about to perform for us. We have a, a hoop dancer here, Danny Rodriguez. Uh, he's from McAllen. He learned this dance from his mm -hmm. from his cousin, Robert Soto. It's a healing dance. Mm -hmm. That's why he, how he was taught. Many tribes claim it, but it tells a story. All of our dances tell stories. And it it's, uh, connects our past and our future. And that's what's great about uh, this dance. You're going to see uh, movements. You're going to see um, formations that form animals, nature, which is important to us. And it's all told through this story of this hoop dance that he's going to. It's very, it's, a, it's an amazing dance. Well, They're let's all watch. amazing, but yes. this one's amazing. Yeah. Well, let's watch right now. Danny Rodriguez from the Valley, who is a member of the Lapan Apache tribe of Texas.